Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Monday, November 22nd, 2021. Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you had a fantastic weekend and you're ready for another wild week of price action, a holiday week of price action at that. So how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for that Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. How about we dive right in and just take a look at these index charts and see if we can get some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, we had kind of a bummer of, of, of a day on Friday with the, uh, the Dow. Notice that we broke this trend and we created a lower high, lower low downtrend in the chart. We're coming closer and closer and closer to testing this price support right here, but this morning we're looking for a little bit of a gap up open. Now, please keep in mind that markets do like to test support levels, so we can't rule out even though we're popping up this morning, that possibility that we could sell off a little bit and um, catch that price support. Also keep in mind that as we rally back, if we rally back, um, rally back up into here, that just runs us right into price resistance and downtrend and that possibility that we could see some more selling. And if that doesn't occur, if we were to just drift sideways over here, which might be a healthier thing, then we would have that opportunity where we could break higher or break lower. But keep an eye on this. I do expect quite a little bit of price volatility this week. We'll talk about that in just a minute. So diamonds a little bit on the edge there, not so happy. But if we take a look at the S&P 500, you would think we're looking at a completely different market. Um, no harm, no foul, just push to the upside. Now, when you take a look at what actually has happened over the last few days, there hasn't been all the bullishness that we're really seeing here in the S&P 500. As a matter of fact, if it weren't for about seven big tech companies, it would be a very different picture um, in this index. But right now, big techs are running um, roughshod over everything and pushing this index higher. So we've got a very bullish trend here. We continue to set new records. We didn't quite make it on Friday, but um, we continue to set new records and we're pushing up for new records this morning as big tech continues to surge. Now keep an eye on this right here. We, that's our next level of price support and we have blue sky above if we can keep pushing up. But just watch that carefully. If we do start to see some selling, it could be a little bit of a painful pullback if that were to occur. Now if we take a look at the bigger level of price support, it's way down there. So as we continue to stretch this index up, just kind of keep in mind, we, we are very, very far stretched away from our 50 day moving average. And if we were to tumble here, it could be painful. So with that in mind, if you're trading to the upside of the market here, just make sure and take some profits along the way. Don't get too greedy in here, just in case we do have to stumble. Then let's take a look at our QQQ. Talk about stretched. Oh my goodness. Our QQQ continues to rip to the upside looking for new record highs this morning going on up. There just seems to be a, an unbelievable appetite to buy up tech and continue well, and just continue to hope that somebody's going to be willing to buy it even higher as we stretch these P.E. ratios to kind of unbelievable uh, levels in the market. But there it is, and the bulls are definitely in control running up that trend. So no fear here at this point, but watch if we were to stumble. We have a little price support in here. Then, of course, we have some price support in here if we were to break down. But don't see that happening, at least at the moment. Now, the reason I brought that up is if you take a look, this is that that 
uh, chart that I keep bringing up um, every once in a while. And last week, even though we did see some selling, notice right in here, guys, that we are back up there. We're 99% above the historical average in our PE ratio. Now, keep in mind, that doesn't mean that we have to fall. We can continue to rise. Remember, the all-time high up here was at a 132% PE ratio in the um, big tech bubble in 1999-2000. So watch that carefully as we continue to surge to the upside. We are getting pretty stretched out on those PE ratios. And if we take a look at this a different way, if we take a look at this at the with the Buffett indicator, now uh, Buffett does it just a little bit different. He does it with um, a ratio um, um, of the GDP and market valuations, and we have never been higher here in this. We're 74% off of the normal average, and we are 217% market to GDP ratio, which is an incredible uh, valuation. But right now, there just seems to be no desire to stop buying anything tech. So kind of keep that in mind. And then if we take a look at IWM, IWM, the Russell had a little bit of trouble um, pushing down with the Dow and ended up closing Friday down here below that about a year's worth of price support. Now that's only going to be a major concern, I think, if we were to break down below this trend. Because as you can see this morning, we're trying to pump it up already this morning, push us back through. So that possibility that we could move back through that area is pretty strong. But also keep in mind, we now officially have that downtrend. So if we were to pop up into here or consolidate over, we do run that risk that we could fail underneath that trend. If the trend continues to hold us, then we should push right back on up and then prove to hold up here. And then it's blue skies above um, for um, IWM. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. Our VIX, um, though we were stretching um, into the close on Friday with big tech pushing and pushing and pushing, keep in mind that we had our VIX rising uh, during the same period of time. So we have elevated our VIX here just a just a little bit, but we're nowhere near that major breakout point where I would say somewhere around that 20 handle is where we really break um, to a little bit of fear here in the market. So no worries um, at this point, but we will want to keep an eye on this area right here. If we were to pop above and hold that and continue in this upside trend as we continue to set new record highs, that, well, it's not only curious, but it's a little bit scary. So watch that carefully. However, if we fail this area, and I think we will this morning with the bullishness in the futures market, then we should pull back into here. But we still want to watch that potential trend bounce in here. If we can fail back below that trend, then we're in great shape for those bulls. Let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 with the selling that came in in the Dow and the Russell and, and really across the board there was selling. There were a lot more stocks moving down on Friday than there were moving up, but you really couldn't tell it by the indexes. If you take a look right here, we're getting closer and closer and closer to that uh, bullish reversal zone um, here on T2122, which means that if we were to have a little bit more selling in here, we could bounce down in here. And I wouldn't rule out that possibility, even though gapping up, that we could experience a little bit of selling. If we pushed out into there, then we certainly have plenty of upside room for the upside. However, if we find that bullish reason to just go right from here, we don't have to come all the way down here. We could start surging up to the upside. We've got plenty Plenty of upside room um, at this point if those bulls engage. Let's take a look at our T2107. Now this is kind of interesting and I think this is a little bit of a problem. T2107, we've been talking about this, the number of stocks holding above their 50-day moving average. Now this is probably going to pop up today, but keep in mind, we closed on Friday with about 43-44% of our stocks holding above their 200-day. That is an awful lot of bearish weight pulling 
on the market. Those big tech giants continue to lift us and lift us and lift us, but it makes you wonder how much longer they can, how much more they can lift in those indexes if these continue, continue to slide or turn down. Now, with the bullishness we see in the morning, we should get a little bit of levity here. We should push these back up, but we're gonna wanna watch this area maybe right in here of that price resistance. If we were to fail there, that could be a problem in that T2107. And if we go to T2108, there's another problem here, and that is the number of stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. Now, all I know that most people are going to say, who watches the 40-day moving average? That's how this indicator has been calculated. I wouldn't have done it that way, but I didn't get to choose. They didn't call me. And if you take a look at this, we also have that technical problem here with the number of stocks breaking down that are below their 40-day moving average. So as you can see, pushing these back down in this area, only 50% of our stocks are holding above their 40 day moving average. And if we pull this back, we have this real major problem here is we're continuing to set new record highs in the market on a diminishing number of stocks that are holding up. Now that begs the question again, how much longer can big tech on its own continue to lift the market? And so um, I, wanna, I wanna say this again, um, watch out below if big tech starts to sell, because if they were to really start selling off, that could be a major issue in the market. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101 is the absolute market breadth, and you can see market breadth is continuing to remain relatively low as we continue to build out this great big giant wedge here in market breadth. And we still have plenty of time that we could wind around in this area here. But let's watch that close at any time. If we were to break above here, it would probably be on a bearish move and any hold of a higher low in here could be the trigger for some selling. So watch that carefully if that were to occur. But we certainly have plenty of time that we can continue to wind around in here, particularly if they can continue to pump and pump and pump those seven big tacks. Let's take a look at our uh, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar isn't a real heavy day, but we do have um, something we'll wanna pay attention to here this morning. Notice we have um, existing home sales coming out here at 10 a.m. this morning. That'll be interesting to pay attention to. We have a slew of bond auctions, um, but not much going on there. So watch that, that's our market mover for the day. But keep in mind, um, I was talking about that possibility of volatility and, and uh, wild price action here in the market this week. First off, remember that as we progress through the week, there's a good chance volume will decline. Traders will be packing up, shutting down, and heading out for their holiday plans. So you'll want to consider that. And also, we have piled an awful lot of market moving um, things onto Wednesday morning. Pretty amazing. We've got PMI composite flash, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. Remember, inflation is, is really a problem for us in this market, and if that continues to grow, we could um, you know, see more and more um, energy pushed to that bearish side if that continues to go up. And boy, Wednesday, we, we're going to get it uh, double-barreled. We're going to get uh, durable goods orders. We're going to get GDP. We're going to get international trade. We're going to get jobless claims all before the bell. That could create quite a little bit of volatility. Then we have new home sales, personal incomes and outlays, petroleum status, consumer sentiment. Uh, those things have, are all market moving potentials. And then later on in the day, we've got an FOMC minutes, we've got natural gas report. So my goodness, the day before the holiday, as people are heading out, we're just gonna dump everything in here all at once. So be prepared for some price volatility. And keep in mind, sometime before Thanksgiving, we're expecting the president to appoint the, the Fed chair. Will it remain Jerome Powell or will it be 
um, um, someone else. Um, and if it is someone else, what does that mean for the volatility of the market? So kind of keep that in mind as well. That's another thing that could move us around pretty good. Now I want to let everyone know that right way options, hit run candlesticks, we're going to be closed obviously on Thursday, but I'm also going to be closed on Friday. Um, the, the market will be open for a partial day on Friday. It's usually terrible trading activity in there, but I plan to be gone. I won't be around. As a matter of fact, there won't be a morning prep video on both Thursday or Friday. So just keep that in mind. I'll be uh, doing some traveling myself to visit some family and on Thanksgiving. Let's take a look at some um, earnings calendar uh, events. Now earnings calendar is lightening up quite a bit, but we do have some earnings this morning. We have um, like 36 companies listed on the calendar today, but quite a few of those, there's a number of them, a large number that are um, not confirmed. So the notables this morning are not too many. Take a look. Um, we're going to hear from Allegiant here today. They'll be reporting. Looks like they're trying to move a little bit higher this morning. We're going to have KEYS. Um, that might be interesting to keep an eye on this morning. Looks like we're getting a little pop and drop in the pre-market here going on, but holding up pretty well. We're going to hear from Urban Outfitters want to watch that retail has been really really strong lately and probably our biggest notable today is going to be zoom mobile um, we'll want to keep an eye on that uh, today as it reports so if you want to catch that full list of notables please click that link below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog and you can get the full list let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up guys but before we do that if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be worthy please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and even if you comment on other people's comments that also also um, goes as an engagement in the channel and helps the channel to continue to grow. We are getting closer and closer and closer to 25,000. And remember guys, once we reach that, I'm going to create some kind of a special event over um, uh, on our site. We'll, we'll open up the room free for a little bit. Um, for, well, for a day, we'll do a couple of drawings. And then what um, I will be doing is I will be giving away one of my personally carved items and you can choose an ornament, you could choose a Christmas tree with lights or without or whatever. And um, I will be sending you one of those to celebrate that $25,000 or 25,000 subscriber achievement. And thank you everyone who has helped um, in making that happen. You guys are truly awesome and thank you so much to everyone who supports the channel through the buy me a coffee link right below the title of the video you guys are truly truly amazing thank you so much let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security make sure you're being very very cautious and careful in this week particularly with the potential of vo volatility and declining volume but with that said let's take a look at um, a trade that I currently hold in Plug Power. Now we saw Plug, and I've been mentioning this um, for a few days um, in this chart. We bought uh, we bought Plug over in here, and we kind of had to re wait and rest a little bit as it consolidated. Picked up on Friday, now pushing through a little bit today. Watch that closely, guys, as this pushes on through. It may extend a little bit, but be really, really careful and remember to take profits on trades quickly particularly in a week like this where we could see some wild volatility so i do have a bias on this trade make sure you kind of keep that in mind and i would be a little bit careful jumping on this trade right now just noticing that the stop loss would be pretty big percentage uh, below that entry today so watch that close let's take a look at um 
some other things in here that are looking kind of interesting. Take a look at Valero Energy. Valero is a full on short here now in the market. We've been moving to a downside here as our energy sector starts to slip just a little bit. And if you take a look right now, I wouldn't chase this short, but any rally back in that stock would definitely send, set up a potential short on Valero. So watch that closely. How about we look to the bullish side? Take a look at Ford. Now Ford has been resting here in a nice consolidation. I was thinking it might take off uh, you know, right around this trend in here, but hasn't quite made that move yet. I gotta say, after such an extraordinary move to the upside, it may need just a little bit more rest in here to pop through that 20 handle in that chart. So watch that close. As this consolidates, notice that we have a pretty nice tight consolidating range here. It's not really volatile. So if that can find that, those, that bullish energy, we could certainly pop on through and go to the upside. I think it's worth keeping an eye on. And I think you have to also, when you talk about that, need, you need to keep an eye on General Motors. Now, General Motors had a little bit more of a rest here. Notice this little trend. We were right there at the point where we could give that up. But I got to say, um, we have extended this chart dramatically. So maybe a little bit more rest is due before we can break through that area up there. So watch this close. We're seeing some pretty good moves in some of these domestic car makers right now. And there is a bigger trend right here and we may have to rest and consolidate in here a little bit before that takes off but i do think it is worth keeping an eye on you know i have to mention some of these uh, um, tech um, stocks that are just incredible take a look at um, amd uh, phenomenal upside run just phenomenal upside run and it broke through some resistance here in the chart and notice we've got about three days of nice little resting consolidation in here watch that closely if that rests out in here we could certainly find that bullish and continue to push on higher but i gotta tell you guys when you trade something that's this extended make sure you're remembering to take some of those profits because they can reverse really, really fast. Um, you'll wanna watch that pretty closely. Um, I do think it's also worth um, keeping an eye on some of these more defensive sector type stocks. Now, although we had some selling here coming in on Friday in that defensive sector, um, I think some of these were just some resistance levels being tested in the charts. But keep an eye on stocks like um, PepsiCo. PepsiCo's holding in there really nice. Um, nice little dividend payer nice consolidation. I think it's worth keeping an eye on. Coke, not so much. Coke broke down below some price support, breaking its trend. Has a little bit more trouble here uh, moving forward, but something to keep an eye on if those others start to move up. Take a look at um, a Monster. Monster also broke down just a little bit here in that chart, but it is worth keeping an eye on some of these because I do see things like Constellation Brands being unbelievably strong, and that's in that defensive sector area. So we're seeing some of those being really, really strong while others are relatively weak. And I think it's just that, that a uh, little bit of comfort level where we're moving toward a little bit of dividend yield to protect ourselves just in case the market does slip and fall. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And if you are taking off early for your holiday plans, I wish you safe travels. Be careful. Have a wonderful holiday. For the rest of you that will be sticking around, I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.